Ezekiel 48. Now these are the names of the tribes from the north end to the coast of the way of Hethlon. As one goeth to Hamath, Hazarin, the border of Damascus, northward to the coast of Hamath. For these are his sides, east and west, a portion for Dan. Now what we're going to see is we're going to see the promised land, the land of Israel. We're going to start off at the very north, and we're going to <clears throat> conclude all the way down east, uh, south. And its borders are, except for Dan, a tribe upon a tribe upon a tribe. Except for the area of the priests and the Levites, which is in the center. But the land also goes from east to west. Pretty much from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea. And if you were to look at it laid out, it's almost rectangular boxes. Now that's different from Joshua's. And I said last night it would be interesting if somebody would do a study and lay out Joshua's border with the border of Ezekiel in the millennium. What we're looking at is the millennium. Now there's some there's some problems. And we'll look at the problems. Some of them. Now, if you come down to real quick to just look at verse 28 says the border of Gad and then um, and you look at uh, verse number 7 you get Reuben verse 5 Manasseh Gad Half tribe of Manasseh and Reuben settled on the wrong side of the Jordan River. They said, Moses, hey, this, this ground is great for cattle. Can we please have this land instead of going over the promised land, going across the Jordan? Now, we'll go across the Jordan River and we'll fight. But we don't want that land. We want to disobey God. And Moses gives them on the wrong side. Now, in the millennium, they are on the right side. Now, we got Dan. And from the border of Dan. Now, we are in the thousand year reign of Jesus Christ. And Dan shows up in the millennium. In the tribulation period, if you take your Bibles to Revelation 7, don't worry, we're not going to finish the chapter tonight. In Revelation chapter 7, it says, verse 4, <clears throat> I heard the number of them which were sealed, and they were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of children of Israel. Those are not Jehovah Witnesses. When the Jehovah Witnesses comes to your door and say, Which tribe of Israel are you? Now it's kind of funny because here in Daytona Beach, most of the Jehovah Witnesses are Africans. African Americans, whatever you want to call them, colored. We used to call them colored and black when I grew up. If you're colored or black, chances are you are not a Jew. Now, you want to do with Sammy Davis Jr. and all that, you know, call yourself Jews. No, that's replacement theology. That's exactly what the Jehovah Witnesses, we're the Israel, we're the, we're the children of God, we're Jehovah's Witnesses. All right. So my question is, which of the 12 tribes of Israel you are? And a further study, which just real quick, says they were males. And I say that to a female. And it says that they're virgins. And I'll say, do you have a child? And they say, well, yeah, I have a child. You must be the Virgin Mary. What? Because you got, in order to have a child, you got to have marriage bed relations. You got to have adultery or fornication relations 
The only way you can have a child and not and be a virgin is what Mary did. And they'll look at you like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I know, because you don't know your Bible. But now look what now look what happens here. Now, I heard the number was still 144,000. All right, we're just gonna go to verse 5. Judah, that's a Greek spelling, Reuben, Gath. Now they're the ones that went on the other side of the river. Asher, Nephilim. Simeon, and these are the these are the Greek spellings, that's why they're different. Simeon, Lev, Levi. How do you get in there as a tribe? Issachar, Zebulun, Joseph. Joseph, it's usually split between two. Benjamin. Now you see in the tribulation period and in the millennium, we are now recognize who the 12 tribes of Israel are, but do you notice two are missing? As a seal of the 144,000, this is another good test to ask your Jehovah Witness friends. Dan and Ephraim are, are gone. They're not mentioned. They're not sealed in the tribulation period. Why? Because Dan is a type of the beginning of the Catholic Church before the Catholic Church began in B.C., going all the way back to the book of Judges. And I will show that to my Catholic friend. Oh, you know, we're the Church of Jesus Christ, a universal church started by the Apostle. I'll run you over to the book of Judges, and I will show you a priest that's called Father, that's got a that's got a, 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 a wardrobe that's given to him, got a pay uh, that goes to him, and everything. And Dan steals him, and when they settle into the city of Dan, they set up the Roman Catholic Church long before the Roman Catholic Church. <laughs> Dan, when you study the Dan, he, he's a troubling tribe, but he shows up in Ezekiel. But he's not sealed in 144,000. Ephraim is missing on 144,000. We're going to see him in Ezekiel. I think it's the book of Hosea. Ephraim's joined unto idols. Let him alone. You know who Ephraim is? You don't know who Ephraim is? You can mess with these people too. Ephraim is the claim of the Mormon church. The Mormons will say, we are of Ephraim. So I will take him over to the book of Hosea and say, I can't talk to you. You're joined to idols. And many verses, I believe it's the book of Hosea, many verses are there. Hey, Ephraim is a, is a scattered tribe. Ephraim sinned against God. You leave Ephraim alone. I say, bye-bye. And go tell Donnie and Marie, you're sinners. You're wicked before God. Again, the Mormon church stealing the replacement theology of the blessings of Israel for them. Look at look at their cities, look at their map and all that. They're named for all the cities in the land of Israel. You know how many cities in America are named after Israel? Especially where I come from, the state of Connecticut, southeastern Connecticut. You know how many of those names have the names that are found in the Bible? Why? Replacement theology. America is that great thing of God shed his grace on me. God bless America as we kill babies and sell booze and tobacco. You know, it's one of the greatest sins of America. You know, God bless America. We, we introduced the world to tobacco. I can imagine Sir Walter Rowley going back to Europe. Hey, you take this plant here, you roll it up, you stick it in your mouth, you put it on fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I like to have fun sometimes. So Ezekiel 48, verse 2, Dan, he's not sealed of the 144,000, but here he is in the millennium. East side on the west side, rectangular. And then a portion for Asher. The border of Asher from the east side, even to the west side, a portion for Naphtali. It's a rectangular shape. So 
Dan is the furthest north as he was in Joshua's time. And under Dan is Asher. Under Asher is Nephtali, then Manasseh, then Ephraim, then Reuben, then Judah. Judah, Judah was so large and swallowed up Simeon and Benjamin. If you look at the, the, the north and south, Judah's south. Israel's north. But it looks like they all get equal portions now. So the border of Naphtali, verse 4, the east side unto the west side, a portion for Manasseh, Joseph's son. Remember, Levi does not get a land proportion. Their inheritance is God. But Levi, a tribe, is sealed amongst the 144,000. Why are they sealed? Because it's not a land. It's a group of Jewish missionaries going out to Jews, witnessing the Messiah. Who is God, which rules out the Jehovah Witnesses because they don't believe the Messiah is God. Ask them. They will tell you. And then you tell them, Thomas said, my Lord, my God. And they'll have to go home and change their underwear. And get another hanky. The border of Manasseh, east side to the west side, a portion for Ethereum. Now they're brothers. <clears throat> they're the sons of Joseph. Joseph is split into two, so you still have 12 tribes, though Levi. And from the east side to the west side, a portion is for Reuben. Now you see, it's not by birthright, because Reuben was the firstborn. And the border of Reuben from the east side to the west side, a portion for Judah. Judah like the, was the fourth child born. Judah is the line of the Lord Jesus Christ. Which has a very remarkable family line of whoredoms and up and up crust of the bottom people. You know, it's funny, they, they'll sell you to Jesus a couple of times, he's eating with sinners. Oh, have you read the line of Jesus Christ? The border of Judah from the east side to the west side shall be the offering, uh-oh, which ye shall offer five and twenty thousand reeds in breath. Now here in the center of the land in the millennium is going to be land given to the temple we just read about, to the sanctuary we just read about, to the prince we just read about, and to the king. In the time of Moses and Joshua, not, not so much with Joshua, once they get the land out, but in the time of Moses, there was the tabernacle. And then you had around the tabernacle, you had Aaron and his sons. Then you had the Levites, the Merari, I don't, Gershom, there was another child. They surrounded the, the tabernacle. And then that surrounded by them were the 12 tribes. North, east, west, and south. Here in the millennium, you got the tribes, north, south, 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 promised holy land temple, then you got tribe, south, 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 and the east and west born is the Mediterranean Sea and the Jordan River. Here we are in where the tabernacle is going to be. East side to the west side, and the sanctuary shall be in the midst of it. So the center of Israel, the center of now the Holy Land, this is the Holy Land. The center of the Holy Land is the, the tabernacle, is the sanctuary, is the temple, is Jesus Christ, is the Levite. That's not the Holy Land today, my friends. 
If you want to look at that, the, the, the center of the Holy Land for the Baptist Catholic Muslims is the Dumb of the Rock. That ain't the center of my Christianity. The, the Holy Land of me is not having the Dumb of the Rock, I said Dumb, of Islam, Catholics and Arabians, Ishmael, telling you what supposedly the Bible and location and the footsteps of Jesus. How often does a Catholic read his Bible? If the Catholic read his Bible, he would go be against the bull of the Pope, and he wouldn't be in the Catholic Church, because if he read his Bible, he would see that the Catholic Church is against the Bible. And don't get me going about Ishmael and the Arabians. Don't you be calling that land holy. Jesus ain't there yet. Well, he was. And he was rejected. And he was crucified. Your holy land, your good Friday, is when our God and Savior died and suffered on that cross. Not for me. It wasn't good that my God suffered and, and died for me. Now, it had to happen, but that's not good. This right here, Ezekiel and, 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 and Revelation, is the Holy Land. The oblation that you shall offer unto the Lord shall be five and twenty thousand in length and ten thousand breadth. For them... Even the priests, the priests are back, not Catholic priests, Levitical priests, shall be a holy oblation toward the, toward the north, five, five and 20,000 in length. Toward the west, 10,000 in breadth. So it's a rectangle. And your modern math book says it's a square. And toward the east, 10,000 in breadth. And toward the south, five and twenty thousand in length. That's not a that's not a square. And the sanctuary of the Lord shall be in the midst of it. So you take a rectangle with a dimension and, and put an X in the corner, and right where the X meets, that's where you meet God. And it shall be for the priests. That are sanctified of the sons of Zadok. And there they are again. Now watch this. I'm going to show you something Christian. And I don't have to spiritualize it. Which have kept my charge. Which went not astray. When the children of Israel went astray. As the Levites went astray. Now you see that recording. It is recording Ezekiel. That will be recorded in the millennium. That Zadok sons were faithful. They did not go astray like the children of Israel and the Levites. What do you think is going to happen at the judgment seat of Christ? Calls up a Christian saying, Man, I, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You get ten cities. Right? Is that what the Bible said? What about the one that strayed from God? It will be called upon your record. As much as called upon your record. That you remain faithful. Well done. Sons of Zadok. And then they were those. Who did not do. Who went astray. They backslidden from God. Who has the name? Zadok. For keeping the charge. Who does not have the name? Those that went astray. And the Bible says the Christians are going to get a new name. If you get a new name according to your, your character, maybe, I don't know. It would be quite interesting. You going through heaven with the Hebrew name as you are a backslider. You perverted the word of God. You did not have the proper word in Sunday school. You deceived the people. Imagine having a name. People went to hell because you had say this prayer.
Can you imagine having those names of being estranged from God? Especially pastors of Baptist churches. How about a name in all glory? How about a lover of Istar? How about the name of happy birthday Jesus on the wrong date? And how about the one that got up there and said, well done. You tried to teach him it was wrong. You tried to teach him it was paganism. You stood, you stayed, you mounted, you had your armor on. You stood the ground when they made fun of you and they ranked on you and they wouldn't befriend you. But you stood to the word of God, Paul. And you took a beating from the lost, from the Jews, from the Christians. He kept the chart. Well done. What will be said to the Christian? What will be said of the Christian of a stray? Ashes. I'm putting up a fight. And I'm going to fight for what's right. Now, I can't force you. I can just tell you. I can show you. I can do videos. I can do PowerPoints. I can raise my hand. I can show you from the Bible. I can tell you from the... I can't make you believe, but that's your fault if you don't. The oblation of the land that is offered shall be unto them a thing most holy. That's the land. An oblation. An oblation of the thing. What's the oblation? All right. Look at verse 9. The oblation that ye shall offer in the Lord shall be five and twenty thousand in length and ten thousand in breadth. What? What? What have we been talking about? Look at verse 8. The border of Judah and then the oblation. What is it? It's the land. And that land, what does it say in verse 12? It is most holy. That's the holy land. Ezekiel 48, 12, and that's in the millennium. And that's when Jesus is there, King of kings, Lord of lords, and David is the prince. And the law, and the tabernacle, and the temple, and the sanctuary, there they are. That's the most holy land. What did God call the holy land in the book of Revelation? Did he call it Sodom or Gomorrah, was it? The Antichrist is going to go deal and live in that land. His priests are there now. They dress in black. You call him father, but he can't get married and has no children. You call her mother, she can't get married and she has no children. <laughs> I was in the elevator one time in the hospital, and there was, there was that guy dressed in black with, the, with his fruit of loom tag in the front. I said, S I said, Mister. And a woman said, You're supposed to call him father. He goes, You're supposed to call me father. Hey, you ain't, are you married? I said, I'm a father. I got two children. You call me father. I said, You're in deception. You're a liar. And to you too, ma'am. And got off the elevator. All right, ready? Now, here's the message to the United Nuts in New York. They shall not sell it. Neither exchange it. That's what they've been doing to get peace. And the United Nations and America and, and the Arabians and the PLO and all of them are in sponsor of Israel giving up. And God said, you don't give that up. Or alienate the first fruits of the land. You're not going to take your harvest and give it to people who hate God. You're not going to take your fruits and your oil of the land and give it to Allah people. Because Allah people will be in hell. The atheists will be in hell. 
The United Nations will be in hell. You know all the great blessings we've gotten from Israel by God? For it is holy unto the Lord. What is holy? What is most holy? That the land is most holy and holy. Five after that, 5,000. And they that are left with the breath over against 5, 20,000. Shall be a profane place in the city. Now this profane place is a place that's not holy. It's not most holy. This probably would be maybe the place where the, the, the nations, the Gentiles, will meet. Again, remember the temple, even the time of Jesus, that temple, there was a area for the, they had an area for the women, male chauvinist pigs. No. The women had their section, and there's maybe a section, for, I, I, I would think, and I could be wrong, maybe that's where the Gentiles are. They're not God's people, but they get the piece of land we read last night. Maybe it's a piece of land where people have sinned and they haven't brought their sin offering yet. I don't know. For dwelling. This is they live there. In the city. And for suburbs. <laughs> Look at that. suburbs is in a profane place. And the city shall be in the midst thereof. And there shall be the measures, plural, thereof, the north side, 4,500. This is that profane place, I would assume. The south, 4,500. And on the east side, 4,000. This is a square. And on the east side, 4,500. And the west side, 4,000. That's a square. Inside the rectangle of the holy city. And the suburbs of the city shall be toward the north 250. All right, so here's the separate. The suburbs. Toward the south 250, toward the east 250, and toward the west 200. That's a square. The residue of the length over against the oblation of the holy portion shall be 10,000 eastward, 10,000 westward. And it shall be over against the oblation of the holy portion, and the increase thereof, that means more, shall be for food unto them that serve the city. What's that? When the children of Israel bring all their offerings, the first fruit, the dough, the, the oil, the, the, the cattle, the sheep, all that what the priests get. They're going to have to make the area bigger and bigger and bigger for all what they get. That's what your Baptist preachers want. When they get it, bring your storehouse. Found in Malachi, written to who? The priest. That's what your Baptist preacher wants. He wants his bank account increased and increased. They have to go get another bank account. Because when he talks about Malachi, and I, he sure don't talk about bringing your... Your dogs that had kittens, your dogs that had kittens, your dogs that had puppies, your cats had kittens, and you, you know in the in the time of the Bible where this happened in the history of Israel, when Moses called all the people and said, We're gonna mail the tabernacle, you bring what you can bring. Not by four. You bring willingly what you want to bring. And if you know how to do sewing and you know how to do with metal on that, you willingly bring. And it got to the point that came to Moses and said, we've got too much. That's what your Baptist preacher wants. You know what that is? That's under the law. And it wasn't a forced tithe. Go and read it. And it says the women that that could sew or, or embroidered and all that, they gave willingly. They worked with their hands willingly. And the children of Israel are going to bring willingly to the temple, and it's going to grow. It's going to need more property. It's going to be no, more building space because it's going to be full. There it is. Malachi is written to priests. 
under the law, who have tired of the service. You know, the preacher that gets up and preaches, tithing, tithing, you know, he has a whole month to tithe and that. He's the one that doesn't have faith that God's going to pay his bill. Oh, please, we're going to have a tithing section. We've got to talk about tithing. We've got to talk about giving. we got to talk. You know, we want to make sure. And we got to have a birthday for Jesus and bring presents to Jesus because we don't think we can do it and you're going to give enough. Think about it. Think about it. I, I heard one. I heard one. Oh my! We might have to give up the building and all that. Go ahead, have it in your living room. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen! I had services out in a uh, uh, gazebo, and we had a great time of the Word of God, and we had natural air conditioning. And there was even times that, that the spirit of the air came in and turned the pages for us, even when we didn't want the pages turned. And we were protected from the rain. And when it was cold, we had the sunshine. And when it was hot, we had the wind. And we didn't have to pay for it. And they that serve the city. You see a Baptist church there? We need people to come cut the grass. We need people to come wash, wash the windows. We need people to come and vacuum the carpets. Serve the city. I guarantee that, that when you had the church that was in the person's house, I would assume it was the person who ran that house, that owned his house, and maybe he had servants and slaves. They took care of the grass. I have, I have been in I have been in Baptist churches where God's going to reward you for taking care of the grass. Chapter and verse, please. Go invite people to church. Chapter and verse, Jesus is going to the world and preach the gospel. He didn't say bring them in. Bring them in, bring them in, bring them in from a world of sin. Why is the church so bad? All are welcome. Because you brought the unconfessed and the unsaved sinners into the congregation. Not, and when the rapture happens, they're not going. They that serve the city shall serve. The guy's going over the names and the processions of the children of Israel. How can he be preaching to us? Search the scripture. And they that serve the city shall serve it out of all the tribes of Israel. So in the city, not only the Levites, but all 12 of the tribes of Israel be doing their, doing their part. Can you just see Jesus up in, in the millennium and his throne? Oh, will you please get the tithes? We're going to open our Bibles to Malachi. And we're going to just let the storehouses just overflow. And, 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 you know, God wants me to do this telephone ministry and this TV ministry. I don't think it'll be television. And if we don't give money, we're just going to have to close everything up. And, you know, we're, we're just having such financial dip. I don't see Jesus doing that. Well, the people ain't giving the people. That's your problem with your preaching. You're not going to have the sheep grow when you're giving them goat food every Sunday morning. You give them what you're supposed to get, and then sheep will... When you feed the sheep, the wool comes naturally. How's that? And when you feed the sheep, I forget what it's called. The lamb meat. The meat that comes from the lamb. Ooh, it's delicious. You're not going to get much meat from a lamb if you don't feed them. 
You feed the sheep. Now, can you imagine a shepherd out there? I'm going to be perverted, but that's okay. Oh, come on, sheep. Come on. Come on, sheep. Can you get together and mate so we can have more babies? Come on, sheep. Get out there and mate. Come on. Come on, you two sheep. Get out there and mate. Make babies. Come on, you sheep. Oh, do, you, do you see the shepherd doing that? We're going to have, we're, we're going to go out and we're, we're going to invite people to church and we're going to go knocking on doors. You don't see, you don't see sheep. Sheep, 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 sheep. Yeah, that's 20 times. Promoting growth. <laughs> it's a natural thing. But if your sheep are lame, your sheep are tired, your sheep are now merged, your sheep are not, <laughs> they ain't going to do what sheep are supposed to do. I'll tell you what my jury of problems with the church is, and I've been in enough of them, the pastors. And the feeding. They don't know anything. That's the pastor's fault. How I got all that, that don't cause extra. 